This video will teach you how to calculate the velocity of the basic elastic or inelastic weight. So let's start off with the problem. A car with mass 1,500 kilograms moving at 35 meters a second expects a car of 2,200 kilograms at rest. Two cars stick together. What speed do they move after the collision? The first question should be, what type of collision is it? If they stick together or start together, it is inelastic. Your next question should be, do they start together or end together? These end together, so our equation becomes m1v1i plus m2v2i, that's a two masses separated, equals m1 plus m2 in parentheses times vf. Make sure your masses are in parentheses because I see it too often on tests that they're not. Then we plug in the numbers, noticing that the second mass is at rest, so it's zero velocity. And we solve the VF. And we get 0 0.0159 meters per second. If you have any questions about how to get that, ask me a question, I'll show you. Try another problem. 26 kilogram sleigh moving to the right at 4 meters per second overtakes and collides elastically with a 22 kilogram sleigh also moving to the right at 3. After the collision, the 26 kilogram sleigh slows to 9. Find the velocity of the other sleigh. So this one tells you that it's elastic. That means that it starts at 2 and ends at 2. So your equation has two masses in the beginning separated with their individual velocities, two masses at the end separated with their individual velocities. We name those v1i, v2i, v1f, v2f. Then you plug in numbers, and then we solve for vf. And second velocity is 5.48 meters per second. So it sped up a bit. Try another one. This time, the directions are not all the same, so be careful. See what you get, and then retry, or press play again, see if you get the same thing as me. All right, so hopefully you've tried that yourself. First thing you get is the two masses in the beginning, two masses at the end, set up an equation. You know, two masses at the beginning with their separate velocities, two masses at the end with their separate velocities. Plug in your numbers. Notice that the second mass has a negative velocity in the beginning, but the first mass has a negative velocity at the end. Uh, keep track of that because the left is negative. You solve for V2F and you get 3.97 meters per second. So this means that the two objects switch directions. In the beginning, the second object had a leftward direction. At the end, it has a rightward direction. If you have any questions about any of this, please ask in class.